Hey guys, Car here, and today I'm going to play some Sonic fan games. <sighs> okay, so here we go. So this first one up is Sonic Classic Adventure. I have no idea what it is. It, well, actually, I do know what it is. Think of it as, think of Sonic Adventure. Now think of the classic. If you combine both, you get this game. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, full screen. Wow. This game has no full screen. Okay, that's better. Uh, okay. Oh, look, it's modern Sonic. Wow, it looks really good. Except there's no music. So, it's just sound effects. But other than that, it looks really good. You know, it's weird, because I remember the first few times I played it, it had music. Well, that's how I remember this game. Wait, what? Oh my god. I could do the super peel out. Let me tell you, the super peel out should be in Sonic Mania. Okay, since it's going to give me a cheap death, I'm just going to move on to the next fan game. Okay, um... Now this one, I cannot use the controller. That's actually how I played the other game, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to use a keyboard here. You know what, this game is kind of similar to Sonic Lost World. And the sprite for Sonic actually is from Sonic 3D Blast. I mean, Sonic, <laughs> no, not Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic Extreme. Which, actually, if nobody knows what Sonic Extreme is, it's actually a cancelled Sonic game. For the, that was going to be released for the Sega Saturn. You do the spin that- Ah, oh, dang it, I died again. Oh, I can double jump. Well, that's out of the way. Um, now this is not Sonic Mania. This is actually a fan-made version of Sonic Mania. What is it supposed to do? Hold us over until the real Sonic Mania gets released. And also, the controller really wor does work on this. Okay. Or 
we're gonna play a Sonic for the sake of this video. Um. Now, who is hyped for Sonic Mania? And it's lagging. Why does the lag remind me of Sonic Genesis? Uh, what am I supposed to do? Oh. Okay. You know, I actually really like this music. I should probably move on to the next game. This is a really weird one. It's what happens when you put a real-life hedgehog in Sonic. And I've actually beaten the first level of this game. It's called Senex the Edgehog Adventure 2 DX. This is this is honestly the weirdest game I've ever played. Hey look, it's the death egg. Except the creepy version of the death egg. Okay, moving on. Okay, now I'll... Okay, so now we're gonna play some ROM hacks. This first ROM hack is Metal Sonic Hyperdrive. Okay, options. Uh, I don't know what this is a hack of. Is it a hack of Sonic 1? Sonic 2? What about Sonic 3? What is, okay, what is this a hack of? Let me know in the comments. Whoa. Wow, I'm getting the hang of this. I will destroy you, Sonic, as soon as I beat this level. Which might take a few hours. Or not. 
Okay, on to the next ROM hack. ROM, so this next ROM hack is Sonic 1, but it's different. How is it different? This one's called Sonic 1 with Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson's shoes. Yeah. It's just Sonic 1 with Michael Jackson's shoes being worn by Sonic. Now it's interesting because Sonic's shoes were actually based off of Michael Jackson. Okay, now for the last ROM hack. Um, so, this last ROM hack is called Sonic 2 S3 Edition. Which is actually what happens when Sonic 2 plays is what. This is what happens when you combine Sonic 3 with Sonic 2. Okay, here we go. And it has the power-ups from Sonic 3. So it's Sonic 2 with the power-ups from Sonic 3. And also, Sonic is even plays like he does in Sonic 3. And also, just like Sonic 3... When you get to the end of the, when you get to the end of an act, you encounter a boss fight. And I'll enjoy this video and be sure to like this video if you're psyched about the new Sonic games coming out next year and the Sonic level pack coming out this November for Lego Dimensions. See you all next time. Peace out.